Hospice singing is a beautiful addition for people who are living one of their last moments of life. We visited Trillium, a hospice trained choir, to hear them singing and passages read by Kathy Leo from her book On the Breath of Song. Well, Trillium has been singing together for over 10 years, and Kathy Leo, who's here tonight, was the founder of um, the Hallowell Chorus, which is the kind of the first hospice chorus down in the Brattleboro area. And she recently published a book about hospice singing, and um, so she offered to come up and do this presentation with us tonight, where we're different members of the choir are reading passages from the book, and then we're singing songs that kind of go along with the passages. We were called two days ahead of this birthday sing, given a description of Joe along with a story of how he ended up in his daughter's home in southern Vermont at the end of his life. We were told that he'd been living in Tucson, Arizona, in the late stages of Alzheimer's, when his fourth wife left him. He had not spoken to his daughter, Trish, for the past 12 years. But, his, but her heart led her to Arizona to fetch her father and bring him back to Vermont to live out his days in her home among her family of four. Hospice singing takes a lot of training, compassion, and knowing when and where is the right time to sing. Hospice singing is basically um, singing for people who are on hospice, so a lot of times there'll be a group of people that will go um, perhaps into somebody's home if that's where they're on hospice. We actually spend a lot of time in like the memory care units and in the nursing homes around Rutland because that's often where people are and if they want music we sing. For more information on hospice singing in Trillium, visit the website listed on your screen.